Hello, Snowpoint Temple. This is Necro Steve, and you're watching one of my narrated Wi Fi battle videos. Today's match is a VGC style doubles match that I had using my uh, international challenge team. I've just been tweaking the team a little bit, and uh, one of my Twitter followers was interested in having a match so that he could tweak his team as well. So we're going to get right into it. Of course, I have the Dragon Gym on my Salamence with the Intimidate ability, with Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, Earthquake, and Dragon Claw. Uh, normal gym on Porygon Z just for that really powerful adaptability boosted Hyper Beam. Cresselia is a kind of a weird wall set with Flash and Icy Wind and Helping Hand and Psychic. And then uh, Amoongus has your standard Rage Powder, Spore, Giga Drain, Protect uh, to support and divert attacks. But I just wanted to start off with Salamence here just to get the Intimidate on his side of the field. If he didn't start off with physical attackers, I could obviously just switch out. Uh, I was worried here about Psychic or Psyshock from Espeon, so I protect with Amoongus. I didn't see any reason to go for a Rage Powder because I knew Sandslash could not KO Salamence with the Stone Edge after an Intimidate cut his attack. A Dragon Gym boosted Dragon Claw is surprisingly not going to be enough to KO Espeon, which means that he's probably max HP, max speed or something like that, I'm not sure because he did outspeed, but uh, knowing that he might target my... Amoongus again, I'm just going to switch on to Cresselia, and on the same turn I'm going to go for Earthquake, knowing that if he goes for Psychic on Amoongus, it's not going to do very much of anything to my Cresselia, and then Earthquake will not hit Cresselia due to Cresselia's Levitate ability, so it allows me to knock out his Espeon, get a little bit of damage on Sand Slash, in case of a possible Slash, uh, Focus Sash, or something like that, and uh, if it does have leftovers, I'll get to see that as well, because that does not do very much damage at all. And now I get to see how much his Stone Edge does with the minus one attack. And that does not even half. So I, I see the leftovers here and it's like, okay, yeah, without a life orb I can see that. Or maybe he's not as offensive, maybe he's more defensive. Something in there, because he took that Earthquake really, really well. I, that's the same as having up two layers of spikes. But here, just to ensure that I take out Sand Slash, I felt like um, Amoongus was just going to put something to sleep here. I was really worried that he might Rage Powder, but I didn't want Sand Slash to be hanging around, really, because he's something that bulky that can still dish out some damage. It's going to be annoying, so I just go for Helping Hand, and I hit it with a Hydro Pump. Uh, and he does go for Spore like I predicted, but that's okay because uh, I got rid of the Sand Slash. And now if I can wake up my Salamence, then I can also go for a Helping Hand Boosted Fire Blast on Amoongus. Now his last Pokemon is actually Sparky, which is a Pikachu, a shiny Pikachu, and that makes me wonder if it's the event Pikachu from 4th Gen. But most Pikachu carry Light Ball because it doubles their attack and special attack, and here we actually get a sample of that, as Thunderbolt is going to be enough to take me out very cleanly, uh, whereas Minus One, Sand Slash, Icy Wind, um, Stone Edge couldn't even do half. So I'm going to go for Icy Wind just to slow down Pikachu. Pikachu is um, pretty quick, and I didn't know what, you know, I, I was assuming he had a Light Ball. Not completely sure what he was running there, so I just wanted to make sure. And uh, unfortunately, that means that my Cresselia is going to have to fall asleep here, too. I guess I could have gone for Protect just to stop Cresselia from falling asleep. But as long as he's slower then it's okay because I can bring in my Porygon and either take out the Amoongus or I can take out Pikachu. I can pretty much, he can pick his poison right there. And of course he might carry Protect on one or both, but seeing as I'm asleep, I'm, I'm guessing he probably wouldn't want to waste too many of my sleep turns. Right there he actually misclicks and goes for Fake Out. Uh, I, I'm 95% sure he wouldn't go for Thunderbolt right there unless he had the Hidden Power Fighting or something like that random. And Ice Beam is actually not going to be enough to KO Amoongus, which likely means that it's more specially defensive. This is a uh, max speed, max special attack Porygon. He gets the critical hit on the Giga Drain. That, that makes that pretty well there for his misclick on Thunderbolt. Although, of course, if he had gotten the critical hit and he hit the Thunderbolt, it is very likely that he would have outright KO'd my Porygon, which would have left me in a bit of a bind, as Cresselia's only attacking move is Icy Wind. I'm going to go for Icy Wind again, kind of just to, to offset the damage that Amoongus is recovering there. And of course, Pikachu's HP is not very high, uh, so a critical hit is actually going to do some damage to it. And 
surprisingly, uh, he's going to go for a Volt Tackle here, which I'm really happy I protected, because there's no way I would have lived that at that range of HP. And unfortunately, I was sitting here trying to whittle down Amunus' HP, but he carries Synthesis, so that means it's going to be a pointless endeavor to try to protect while my Cresselia racks up the damage. Um, I don't, you don't often see Amoongus with Synthesis, whether it be for the biological fact that mushrooms do not photosynthesize, or for the fact that they just often don't carry it, especially with having Regenerator, uh, Giga Drain, holding Black Sludge. That's just not enough recovery. And so here to ensure that I take out the Amoongus, because at this point it's just like, ah, I can't, this thing is doing too much against my team, I just go for the normal gym boosted adaptability Hyper Beam. And I take it out, because that, that move is powerful enough to take out standard defensive Cresselia. Uh, in exchange for that, though, he does get to knock out my Amoongus. That's okay. I mean, he gets to knock out my Porygon Z. But that's okay, because I can go directly into my Amoongus. And there's not much Pikachu can do against Amoongus from the moveset that I've seen it have. And now with minus three speed, he's going to be slower than both of my Pokemon. Um, and he actually just goes for Volt Tackle. That actually does a sizable chunk. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Uh, he didn't knock me out, even though it was a crit, which means it would not have been a two-hit KO. But the fact that a Pikachu can almost KO a defensive Cresselia is a bit overwhelming. I don't know. I was really surprised by that much damage. But anyways, Random Man 64, thank you very much for the battle. Uh, I enjoyed it, and I, I think we got a chance to, to really play with our teams there some and see some of the weaknesses and the strengths. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Be sure to subscribe to the Snowpoint Temple. And if you liked what you saw, be sure to go check out my opponent's channel and my own channel. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.